We were at our breaking point. We hadn't been able to have people over to our house for three years. And if this didn't work, I didn't know what we were gonna do. We were thinking that we would have to rehome him. I'm Kaylin, and this is Miller the Killer. As far as I know, he is a cockapoo. He's about four years old. And I rescued him from the Animal Foundation's euthanasia list for aggression and reactivity. So one Saturday morning, I was in bed scrolling through Facebook, and all of a sudden I see this picture of this adorable little like doodle. And I didn't even really think twice. And all of a sudden I'm in my car driving there, hoping that he's still available to rescue. And lo and behold, he was. So as soon as I brought Miller home, I was a little nervous to introduce him to my other dog, Jasper, who's about eight pounds, just a little, another fluff ball, multi poo. Um, and they hadn't met. So that encounter was a little rocky to begin with. <laughs> As the week continued, I noticed that Miller kept clinging to me more and more. I was his savior, I rescued him, um, and every single person, even my parents, came over to see him for the first time, and he went nuts and ballistic on them. Um, and that's when I realized, I now see the aggression and reactivity, I need to fix this. When Miller came to us, he was very territorial in his own home. Miller was showing aggression towards company and that was our main focus to get him to not be aggressive towards people. I found Total Dog through Instagram. I was scrolling through one day and I followed their story with a dog named Paco. And I just thought if they can help Paco, who is 10 times the size of Miller, then maybe my Miller has hope. Um, so I reached out to them, we scheduled the free consultation, and when Justin and Ty came over, it was within five minutes that Justin had Miller calmed down, um, and I was like, who is this Caesar Milan that just walked into my house? <laughs> How's it going? I'm Justin. I'm the owner of Total Dog Vegas, and this is my team. I was so impressed and we signed up for the 28 day board and train. So it was about a month later and I was really nervous sending him off, but I trusted them and I knew that I was gonna get the results and it was awesome. They sent pictures throughout the entire process. I got videos. I would text random requests of like, oh, I really wish Miller could go through a drive through Starbucks with me without attacking the barista. And lo and behold, Brent and Will took Miller through Starbucks and they videoed it and it was awesome. It made me feel really comfortable and like they were actually listening to my needs and what I was looking for. Miller came to us with aggression issues. He was an adopted dog and sometimes we don't know the history and we have to rehabilitate them and get them to love again, basically, and show them what that is. Coming from firsthand experience, I tried to train by myself and it didn't work. And I've tried another trainer and that didn't work. The only thing that has worked has been total dog. Miller has always been my best friend and even more after training, um, since I've been empowered and shown more of that leadership style with him instead of smothering him with a bunch of love i'm now his leader and he follows me he listens to me um he's really a great dog <laughs> when miller left total dog he knew all of the basic obedience commands which we yes. encourage the owner to work with him on daily yes it was insane to see the results of just what 28 days could do to change his habits and his behaviors. And obviously, I wasn't seeing any signs of aggression because he's home with me. However, taking him out in public in the next few days following that was incredible. We were able to go to coffee shops. Um, a little kid came up to us 
zero reaction from Miller, which is one of my largest fears, is a child coming up to him. Um, and it was just instant. You could see the results. It was awesome. I'm Kaylin, and this is Miller the Killer.